Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning how to export these really awesome detailed Valheim maps. Whether you're playing a regular server or a no map server, being able to share maps really helps the community communicate their projects. So what I've done is share a series of maps in the Discord for our no map server, and other players will also use them to plan areas that they want to build. And what's so nifty about this is it's actually a mod in Valheim. The mod is called No Map Printer. And it has some other functionality regarding the cartography table. But what I'm going to focus on in this video is showing you how to use it to export these really awesome little maps that you've seen so far. You can pick from five different formats, which I'll show you here. There's bird's eye, chart, old chart, vanilla, and topographical. My personal favorite to use is old chart. It gives it this faded look, and when you zoom in more, I just find this to be quite pleasing, but still giving enough detailed information for your planning. And as you can see here, you can set the mod up to also include all of the map pins that you've added to the server. Let's look at the mod's custom settings now. So here we are in the config shown through R2 mod man. There's a decent amount of stuff here, and I'm not going to cover all of it. These maps I'm showing you are the highest resolution that this mod can output. You can see that you can zoom pretty close before it starts to get blurry. Now that you see what you can do with this mod, let's show you how to actually install it and use it, alright? To begin, we'll use R2 Modman, which you can download. You could also use the Thunderstorm mod, it's the same thing. And we're going to go to this online section here, and we're going to look for the mod No Map Printer, this one right here. Click on Download, Download with Dependencies, and then go to Installed. It should look like this. Now what you need to do is start modded. You need to launch Valheim this way once, and then you need to exit Valheim completely. After you do that, you can go back to R2 Modman and reload it. And then go to the config editor, and you'll see here that you can go to this No Map Printer option right there. And this will enable you to customize all of the settings and to pick the ones that you prefer. I'll give you a quick rundown of what I use. I have everything set up to the default, except for you'll need to change the save path, and I like to use the chart style, that's my favorite one, and then also change this map size to smooth. Another very useful part of the config is the pins, because you may or may not want pins to show up on your map. Pins are this kind of stuff. They're the dots and home icons and things that people tend to put on their map. You can change a lot of the things with the pins here, including how big or small they are. I find them to be quite obtrusive at the default value, they're too big, so I recommend you make them smaller, around 0.6 is a good starting point. You can also customize the actual pins that show up. For example, if you want to eliminate all of the checked pins, or all of the pins in general, you can do that here. You can also customize all of the individual pins that show up. Whenever you've set everything as you wish, then go to Start Modded to launch Valheim. This mod focuses specifically on the cartography table, so in order to access the functionality, you have to build one of these. Now, in normal Valheim, the cartography table is used to share your map progress with other players. What the mod does is make a trigger. So as soon as you press read map, you're going to trigger a drawing of the full map, and it will draw the map in its entirety. You'll get some confirmation messages, and eventually the map will be saved. All you have to do is navigate to the folder that you specified in the settings earlier, and then you can get your full map of the world. Now usually the full world map is too big, so what I tend to do is go to specific areas and then take screenshots using a snipping tool, but you might use something else, 
and then share these screenshots with other players, and then we usually add in stuff like this, like, ah, oh, we're gonna sail down here, and then we're gonna build a place right here, and we're gonna make a path over here, and then we kinda show this to each other, and it makes it fun. I, I don't know what it is, but something about making the maps and sharing them with each other, and then finding them in a no map world, it's just much more fun. And this is a great transition into the other functionality of this mod. I mean, if you think about it, it's a little bit confusing, isn't it? Why is it called no map printer? Why not just map printer? Well, because really, people who care about this often are people who play on no map mode, right? So what this mod also does is it makes your map actually just a map. Did you notice that I can press M? but there's no recognition of where my character is. I'm just looking at the world map, but I don't know where I am. And that's it for this video, everybody. If you want to support my work, consider checking out a dedicated Valheim server from Zap Hosting using my link, JP Valheim. You can also like this video or any other Valheim video on YouTube, and that'll tell YouTube that you want to see more content about this incredible game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!